this time of year, butterflies may be beginning to appear, but don't be surprised if you're seeing less of them. Here with the dirt on how to help the butterfly population grow. It's our UVA Extension Horticultural Educator, Ryan Pancob, back with us. So many people may not realize that monarch butterflies are actually very close to becoming an endangered species. Yeah, the monarch, um, their, their numbers have been steadily declining for the last several years. Um, and, and researchers know that because they, um, they actually have a great, an extreme migration in the plant and animal world. Um, the monarchs that we see around this area right now, actually, um, probably not this generation, but the last generation of monarchs this fall will migrate over 2,000 miles down to Mexico to overwinter down there and will migrate all the way back in the spring. So um, because of that reason, this particular insect has got a lot of uh, love and affection <laughs> from the general public it and the has. scientific community and that combined with the fact that it has a very wide range across much of the continental U.S. Uh, we've all seen these before in our gardens. Right. If you've ever caught butterflies as a kid, you know, the monarch was like the best ultimate the, the ultimate butterfly <laughs> you catch so so we've all kind of seen them they're popular and so um they they've kind of become the poster child for the plight of the pollinators in our country so we know all pollinators numbers are declining but monarch numbers are really s scary at how drastic they are declining right now so you mentioned the last generation so what does that mean there's four generations of butterflies so yeah. how does that work well there's there's four generations per year so um starting in the spring those those monarchs that have spent the winter down in Mexico come back up. They lay their eggs um, on milkweed plants. That's the specific Kind of like this. Post. We kind of got our little diagram down here. I don't know if they can get that. Yeah, some little uh, models of the different life stages of the monarch. Um, and so that starts the first generation of monarchs here in Illinois. So um, that generation then, um, within three to eight days, mates and starts to lay eggs. Um, and then that happens two more times before the final generation or the fourth generation of the year hatches out of eggs. Um, they actually won't produce until the coming spring. So they, interestingly, they live six to nine months compared to the couple generations in the middle of the part of the growing season that are really only uh, two to four weeks huh, as all those adults live. interesting. So. And so what can we do here in central Illinois to maybe help with, you know, the... <laughs> the lifespan of um, the monarch butterfly. Well, a critical point for monarchs is in the larval stage, they, their specific host is milkweeds. So they, though, there's about two dozen native species of milkweeds in Illinois. So there's more than just one plant. I have uh, three different milkweeds uh, right here on the table. Um, and so what we can do is plant milkweeds. That's, a, that's a big, the best thing you can do is add some milkweeds to your landscaping or preserve areas in your property that have milkweeds growing because they actually grow as a weed in a lot of areas and we often mow them down or unknowingly uh, remove them. So keeping those milkweeds or planting new milkweeds is one of the best things you can do. Uh, one thing that my, f so, so interestingly in the wild, a monarch caterpillar only has, some studies have shown as low as a 10% chance of survival to adulthood. And that's because um, insect larvae are food for predators. You know, it's like pretty, who? Who would be a predator? Uh, there's a ton of different predators. Everything from birds and other insects to um, tiny parasitoids that infect them and lay eggs inside them and cause different diseases and other problems um, that the monarch can later develop, not develop into a, a butterfly correctly. Okay, so of. to protect from those predators, what are you doing? Uh, well, so for the last couple of years, my family has actually went out and collected monarch caterpillars and then raise them for the 10 to 14 days or so they're a caterpillar in our screened in porch. So that excludes all those predators that could otherwise be, um, you know, killing the monarch. Right. So surprisingly, this is one point in nature where human intervention is actually better than what Mother Nature does out of nature because they just, that's just the nature of being an insect larva. You are a predator for a lot of things. Right. So are you encouraging people out there to, if they see, you know, some caterpillar larva, to bring them home with you or... Well, you do What's need the to best know. Scenario? You do really need to know what you're doing to do that. Um, you know, and, <laughs> maybe and if you're a say, horticultural expert. <laughs> yeah, between my wife and I, my wife's a wildlife biologist. We've spent a lot of time kind of reading up, and, and I was, I'll certainly give Amanda, my wife, more credit on <laughs> the study of this. But um, we, we've really uh, taken a lot of time to figure out exactly how to do this, so we aren't having a negative impact. So it, it is something that's a great do-it-yourself project. It's great for kids and adults alike, and my kids absolutely love this. 
Um, you probably saw a picture earlier of my son carefully transporting yeah. the, the caterpillar to a new fresh stock of milkweed. But um, you do need to know what you're doing and, and, and go into it with a good understanding of what the what you need to provide for those caterpillars, which is fresh milkweed on almost a daily basis. So um, it, it is a little bit of work, but um, it nothing beats uh, getting to see that monarch fly free out of your screen and porch right. knowing that you helped it. Well, and if maybe, you know, taking them into your home isn't an option, plant some milkweed and then mm -hmm. help them that way. So, mm -hmm. interesting stuff. So hopefully we can save our little monarch butterflies here. Ryan, thank you. Lots of great information which we will connect you with after today's show at CILiving.tv.